Season 3, Fourth day, already did a video showing how to easily get rare gear, so now it's time to get epic gear. In this video I'm going to show you two free to play teams that you can use to start farming epic gear on Grave of Venom, so let's have a look. So let's go Grave of Venom, on your second day, second to third day you're gonna be able to start farming Grave of Venom, so this will be uh, uh, a good start. To, to farm epic gear, because at this point, if you had a look to the video showing how to easily get rare gear, um, you should have rare gear for every character, so you can start farming ep epic gear at this point. So, I have two free-to-play teams, if you have Garius and Vorish, if you don't have Garius or Vorish, make sure to comment below, because these two will be important for these builds and for these teams, so if you don't have them, just make sure you're commenting below so I can create a different comp, a different team or just pop up in my Discord and I'll try to create a different team without them. So Garius and Frobart are the most important heroes in these comps for both of, of them. I'm using Garius and Fro Frobart. So they have all of them, they have full rare gear, okay? So I'm and I'm not using the best artifacts. At your second third day, you're going to be able to level up this to 8. Uh, 8 level, um, so by mistake I upgraded 2 levels ahead, but that's not a big problem. Uh, all the other heroes have uh, artifact at level 8, as you guys can see, but I'm not using the best ones because I did some tests before, this is the test server, and I left the, lab, the artifacts that I want to use to 20. So for Garius, you can use several artifact, artifacts, I'm using this one, this one it's pretty good, uh, I've been using him and he's pretty good. So for Garius you want to use, um, so you can use, where is it, this one, alright, to increase the healing. This one will be really good for Garius, alright, but you can use uh, other ones as well. Like this one, Scarab Amulet will be really good as well. Uh, you can use this one or our Gears, you can use the Luminary as well. Or the Trolls Art or the banner of hot, but I recommend you to use one of these. Alright, and then I'm using rare gear, the, the guardian to get some more HP, I have defense percentage on chest and hands because he's gonna increase his healing with defense percentage. Then on Frobart it's the same situation, um, I'm using this artifact, I recommend you to use this one because this boss cycles his skills on um, 18 second cycle and with this Frobart will be able to cast his ultimate before uh, around 18 seconds and he has some accuracy, okay, 19.3 you're gonna need at least 70 accuracy to apply the attack penalty, you really want the attack penalty uh, especially at the beginning of the fight, I have also some defense percentage and you guys let's have a look to this uh, guys, so it takes 18 seconds, all right, to cast all the skills. It's pretty fast, and at this point we don't have skillized, so we need to play with artifacts. So that artifact is is gonna be really good. It gives accuracy, and this way I'm gonna be able to cast. So it's this one, essence burner. I'm gonna be able to cast the attack penalty always before the boss uses his ultimate. Okay, because it's gonna increase the ultimate energy by seven percent. So I will be able to do it. All right, attack penalty. I've scrolls on, on him because I really want to have 100% chance to inflict the attack penalty. And then I have these three. All right, and I'm using two burn heroes and one poison. Just make sure at this point. Just make sure you have at least three heroes of the same element. Okay, you can use the different ones like burn or poison ones, frosts. I mean at least some heroes that can apply a debuff and why why is that because this hero <laughs> this um, boss has a, uh, a trick so he has this flame of element poison simultaneous attack if the monster has less than two debuffs when casting this skill the target will be changed to a random enemy so if the boss doesn't have two debuffs on him is going to attack a random uh, enemy hero. So in this case, he can attack one of these DPSs, uh, which are more more um, squishy, and we don't want that to happen. Otherwise, they can die and we lose our DPS. So because of that, 
I'm using uh, DPS here, all right, and then I'm using a burn, burn and hero character and poison characters. You can use a different artifact here, okay? I'm using this one because I don't want to use these ones on 20, but I'd love to use one of these, all right? The Manticore, the Harpies, or Eyeball are the best ones for uh, the DPS. Same thing for uh, Bigs. I'm using this one, but use one of those three. I just recommended. I'm using attack percentage, crit rate, so another rare set. And then I'm using Dench with this one. I really want to use this one on range because he works with derivate damage. As you guys can see, derivate poison damage and derivate poison damage. So he really works with derivate poison damage. By mistake, I level up a little bit more, so he's four stars, but it doesn't make a big difference. I'm not using any gem, so uh, it's almost the same thing. All right, and with this, I was able to do this this boss with this sim, only rare gear and artifacts on level eight, and is important this placement as well because since Frobart is here, he's gonna heal uh, Garius. All right because it's gonna take a lot of damage at the beginning of the fight, so this healing from Forbart will help Garrus to stay alive, and also he's gonna share some of the damage from this flame of elements uh, with Garrus. All right, so let's have a look and see uh, how I did this fight. You don't need any timings, it's auto mode, and remember, defense, the defense arrow will help a lot as well. Okay, this team will be really good uh, Vorish and Garius, they help a lot uh, there together. Um, Fulbart is giving some healing to Garius and sharing some of the damage, so that's really good. With this team, you're gonna see the Dex team will be much different. This one, uh, they will keep him with two debuffs, alright, because of the burn and, and poison. So we have three stacks, uh, three debuffs on him, so with this, he's gonna keep. Uh, focusing the tank, not another um, random hero, and that is going to happen a lot on the other team. And that's why Voresh will help a lot with the passive healing, but here we don't need to worry about that because uh, he's gonna have this poison and burning stacks on him most of the time, and if he keeps like that, Oh, at least we make sure he keeps focusing the tank and not other heroes because sometimes if they are too squishy, uh, yeah, he can kill them and then we're gonna need to repeat the dungeon or we're gonna take more time and we don't want to take five minutes or repeat uh, this, this run again. Our main goal is to do this as fast as possible and, and more effective as possible. Besides that, you guys can see the attack penalty always before the boss ultimate because we have that incense burner and and basically that's it. You need you can do this on auto mode and we are using three rare heroes as damage dealers and then with full damage gear or rare gear and then we are we are using two epic gears of course. Yes, yeah, I tried with some epic heroes, uh, rare tanks. Uh, this boss and it's much more uh, hard. I took around the same time with the other team, so this is done. Two minutes, a uh, few seconds. Let's check the node and next one. So, next team I'm using, uh, it's a more tricky one, okay? I'm using Vorish this time and two Corrosion characters. Uh, I think if you're using a poison and burn characters or frost will be easier because that way we'll make sure you're getting at least two debuffs all the time on him uh, because you are getting poison and, and burn. This way I'm using the same strategy, okay, same placement. These guys have exactly the same gear, uh, same thing. But then I'm using Vorish. If you want to use Vorish, it's really good. It's gonna uh, do damage to all the enemies 
and also applying buff prohibition. He has 71 accuracy and buff prohibition will be one more debuff on him and this way when to make sure he's not attacking any other of our heroes. And instead of this one, you can use some defense penalty because it's going to increase your damage and you can use the crown of unclean will be uh, much better. Then for these two, I'm just using again some rare gear with attack percentage and crit rate on this one, same thing. And then you can use one of those artifacts I just recommended before. Alright, one of these three. Okay, I'm not using them because they are 20 and I can't reset the level. So I'm using this one just to make a more fair fight. And using again the defense percentage aura. And this works as well like the other one. But I really think the other one is more free to player, free to play uh, friendly. And will be easier to manage than this one. Again, no... no timings on this one as well and will work the same way because we are use at least getting two debuffs one from Voresh and another one from Frubart uh, these guys they don't apply any debuff but at least if I get two debuffs on him will be alright of course again with the other team you are getting at least three debuffs will be easier to make sure you always have two and you, he's not attacking your um, DPS heroes so let's have a look and see how it goes. So guys, as you can see, Brubart helps a lot at the beginning, uh, Garius, because Garius at the, starts taking a lot of damage, and this way Brubart is sharing some of that damage uh, with uh, Brubart, and will be much better for everyone. Then we have Voresh as well. Uh, giving some passive healing to all the team so that's also really important these corrosion heroes are really good really good especially the epic one because he uh, does damage over all the battlefield uh, which is really good they are still taking some time all right and you guys are gonna see if we don't have two debuffs uh, one of the heroes can be attacked besides our tank so that's why it's so important to wave at least two debuffs um, on this uh, boss, otherwise he's going to attack uh, other character, he, he can do that. Alright, as you guys watched, he didn't have two debuffs. So he attacked the epic corrosion arrow. Um, yeah, this is why it's important. He survived, okay. But sometimes, uh, if he's more, is if he took more damage, uh, he can die. Now we attack at Vorish. Uh, same thing again. Since I Vorish, I can still give some passive healing uh, besides the Garius healing. So Garius, that's why Garius is so important because he keeps this healing over all the battlefield. And that, that helps a lot, as you guys can see. That's why I say poison, uh, with poisons and burning, it's much easier because we don't get these random attacks on all our uh, heroes. And yeah, sometimes this can go bad. If we didn't head Varish, I think probably one of them would be dead without that passive healing. Still, is not a bad time for, uh, for this team, two minutes. Uh, we're gonna finish it. It's still really good. So guys, this was it. I hope with this guide you are able to get some epic gear. If you don't hate Forish, again, if you don't hate Forish or Garius, comment below. Uh, if there's a lot of people still without Vorish and Garius, I'll try to make another uh, team, also free to play, but without those characters. But I hope, since we are on season 3, that everyone already has Garius and Vorish and, and Frobart because they are really, really good. Uh, this way, stage 4, you can get one of these epic gear, also the materials for that. And the moment you, you start getting some epic gear, you can equip the same team. And with that same team, you will be able to do stage 5 as well. And, and when you have a full epic gear, probably will be able to do 6, but I've not tried yet. But I hope we can will be much better with these free to play teams. On the next video, I'll be releasing a guide as well, a free to play team to Grave of Curse. 
Stage 4 as well to start getting some epic gear, gear from Grave of Curse to equip your tanks. So I hope this helped you guys. Don't forget to leave that like and subscribe to my channel. It helps me a lot and I really love the support. Once again, thanks for watching and see you next time.